Hey guys, this is Cameron with Fishing Addicts Northwest and Gone Catching Guide Service. And today we're going to be showing you guys some quick, simple tips on how to get real good, durable coon shrimp for fishing steelhead in the Columbia River. So this basic cure is going to involve the Procure Shrimp and Prawn Cure. This stuff's got some amino acids, some different scents, and it's a good cure for just when you're just starting out and you don't want to like experiment with your new one and you want to have an effective bait that's going to catch a lot of steelhead. However, the process on the back is I like to do something a little bit different. Um, so what I'll do is I'll just take a mason jar and add about an inch to maybe an inch and a quarter of the actual powdered cure into the jar. One thing I always do when I'm doing these coon shrimp is I always do them in small batches. This way I know when I have a batch that's really effective for steelhead, I can go back and I can replicate and I can make that exact same coon shrimp again. I think that's really important when you're trying different scents and different flavors and different cures out there on the river. So I got about an inch of cure in there. Then I'm gonna take some distilled water or some river water and I'm gonna fill it about two thirds full. Next, I'm gonna put the lid on, and I'm gonna shake it up just to stir the ingredients up and make sure that it all dissolves in the water. When I'm done with that, I'm then gonna add my frozen coon shrimp. I'm not going to pick out the blackheads or anything like that because honestly, like the blackheaded ones, as long as the skulls aren't cracked, they will still catch just as many fish as the regular ones. So I usually cure all my bait and then if I get a soft one in the batches, stuff like that, I'll just kick those out. I won't even put them on the hook. So now I've got the coon shrimp in here mixed up. These baits will actually fish the next day. So if you're going out fishing and it's kind of a surprise and you weren't able to get bait or anything of those things, these will still catch steelhead the next day out on the water. However, um, what I would really prefer to do is let this sit in the fridge for about two to three days, let the colors really soak into the bait, let the cure really soak into the bait, um, get all that good amino acids and stuff like that uh, in there and then let the bait also firm up. So after I've let this cure sit on this bait for a couple days, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna drain off about two thirds of the liquid cure in the quart jar. Now the reason why I'm only pouring two thirds of the liquid brine out is because now I'm gonna scent my bait. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave about a third of that brine in there and that's gonna help spread out that scent and spread out that oil through the coon shrimp and this way by doing the small batches, you know, um, having the different mason jars, I can experiment with different scents so I can know what's working really well on the water. So one big thing that I didn't do is add the oils before I cured the shrimp. By adding the oils onto the shrimp during the curing process, the oil will kind of coat the shrimp and it'll give the shrimp kind of a blotchy appearance. It's almost like the oil will put a little bit of a sheen that will stick to the shrimp and it won't allow the cures to get into that bait and cure it all the way. So one, I'm a big advocate of curing my shrimp first and then adding scent. If you're gonna go out there the day after you've started the cure process on the shrimp, you can still bring the oils out, but bring your bait injectors and bring stuff like that to help keep that oiled scent on your bait. What I'm gonna do now is take the little scent bottle and add roughly maybe two teaspoons. Um, generally, I can get about six to eight quarts out of one of these two ounce Procure oil um, scent bottles, but you're not looking to overdo it, but you're definitely wanting to add a good amount to the bait. Once I do that, I'm gonna shake it up. I'm gonna allow that rest of that cure to move that oil around the bait. It's gonna add a lot of good scent. It's gonna really mix it in there. It's gonna distribute it all throughout there. And once I do that, I'm then gonna add a little bit more salt. You can't have too much salt to hurt the bait. The salt is what's keeping the bait durable. It's gonna keep it strong. It's not gonna allow it to break. And by having adding a little bit more back into that bait, it's gonna keep these baits a long time in the fridge or in your bait cooler or out on the beach when you're fishing. Now 
Now there's lots of different scents to pick from. You know, any given day, any given scent can work for steelhead, especially on the Columbia. You know, a lot of the good standbys are shrimp, prawn, anise, crawfish, uh, krill baits, uh, krill scents, excuse me, but one thing that we've used over the years, we've used a definite special blend of the Procure bait oils, and I've found it really effective in my boat. So this year, um, you know, with between Fishing Addicts and Procure, we've been able to launch um, our Addicted Steelhead blend. This blend is specifically designed for coon shrimp fishing steelhead in Washington and Oregon. So this blend I've used for a lot of years. I've caught a lot of fish on it. I would say probably 70 to 80% of the time, this is my go-to scent in the boat. I don't only go out with this uh, whenever I go fishing or whenever I'm guiding clients on the Columbia. However, uh, this is definitely my go-to. We're super excited to bring it to you guys and it's gonna be available at Bob Sporting Goods. It's also gonna be available on the link uh, down below in the comment section. So be sure to check that out and you can order those online and you can get this product to you. And uh, like I said, I've got a lot of confidence in it and it's gonna work really, really well. Now one last tip I'm gonna suggest is always mark on top of these quart jars and your mason jars what you put in these coon shrimp. I've made some really good batches of bait over the last few years that I've completely lost track of what I added to them and they were absolute killers. So you wanna be able to replicate and you wanna be able to do the exact same thing that you found productive in the last batch of shrimp you made. If you guys like what you see here, you guys can go check us out at fishingaddictsnorthwest.com. You can check us out on Facebook on Fishing Addicts Northwest and God Catching Guide Service. You can also check out our YouTube channel at Fishing Addicts Northwest. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to order your addicted blended uh, steelhead scent and we'll see you guys on the water.